What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. Uh, a big thing that I get from a lot of my students, a huge problem, and even they recognize it, is that a lot of them when they have conversations with women, sometimes it can seem fun, friendly, and like everyone's having a good time, but there doesn't feel like there's any sexual tension, doesn't feel like there's any like romantic interest, it doesn't feel like these two people are going to have sex. Like it, it just has a conversation that's normal and friendly. So how do you change it from just normal and friendly to making it into something where there's like some sexual tension, there's some arousal going on, there's sparks flying. It feels like two people are flirting, okay? How do you have that interaction as opposed to the former? Well, a big reason for this is that a lot of times, especially people who view my channel, is they don't understand a man to woman interaction. They don't know how to have that. So in this video, basically what I'm going to cover is I'm going to give you a couple tips to have a man to woman connection. I'm going to explain what a man to woman connection is and ultimately the basic principle behind what a man to woman connection is and what that looks like in the real world. <laughs> so let's get right into it. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to tell you is a couple like body language language related things. Typically men, what they do to have a more dominant and masculine presence is they take up a little bit more space. So while you're there, have good posture, stand up straight, make sure that you're having good eye contact. You're not wavering. You're not uh, trying to try to shrink in or like you're fidgeting around a lot. You're confident, you're secure, um, and you're basically direct in your movements and, and, and purposeful in your and your gestures and all that stuff. So have good posture, stand up straight, have eye contact, have the confidence to do that sort of thing. Um, now, I can give you a bunch of tips and tricks to help you out when it comes to man to woman connection, but really what a man to woman connection is, and this might not be the most PC thing to say these days, ironically, but it's basically the man leading and the woman following. This is done in courtship dancing. This is done in ballroom social dancing. I don't know a single dance uh, form on the planet where the man is not leading the woman. And the reason why this is, is because that's how courtship rituals work. That's how, that's how it's worked since the beginning of time. The man leads and the woman decides if she wants to follow. And if she does, then she follows him. Okay, so how does this work in the real world? Well, if you're talking to a girl and she's kind of leading the conversation, she's, t you know, she's choosing the conversation topics, she's giving you advice all the time, typically that is not going to lead down a direction where it's going to have that spark, it's going to have that chemistry to it, okay? So the man's got to kind of uh, be in charge in, in, in this area. Um, and I don't mean be in charge like he, he says he tells her what to say um, and he's the only one talking. No, that's not how it works. But what it does look like is maybe he's like really interested in her and he's kind of directing the conversation to us getting to know about each other. He's teasing her a little bit. Um, he's has, got, got that cheeky eye contact going on. A lot of it is that where it's, he's kind of like the one who's leading the conversation. And this also works well too. If you've got a girl that you're talking to at a bar, at a social event or something like that, and you say, hey, let's go get a drink and she comes with you, you're leading, she's following. You know, you introduce her to some friends, you're leading, she's following. That's how it works. So a lot of times what guys need to learn how to do is rather than looking for, you know, most of the time my students, what they'll do is when they're talking to a girl, I give them like a basic framework work of how it usually goes down and, and so they try and implement this so they'll think okay uh, this is going really well this girl likes me um, what's the next step and what's the next step can help you out in some areas because if you have if you know how it works like I've done this thousands of times so I can give them more or less what usually happens next um, that works a lot of the time however you need to know the basic principle behind it the basic principle is not what should I do next. The basic principle is what do I want? Okay. What do I want to do next? Too many guys, they keep looking to the girl to, to see what they should do next. They keep looking to her for answers. Oh, should I, uh, should, should I try and kiss her now? Does she want me to kiss her? Who cares if like, they, think about what you want to do, man. And if you want to kiss her, hey, try and kiss her. And if she's down, she's, you know, then she's not down. <laughs> okay. So well, too many guys are permission seeking. And I think what this happens is when we grow up, we're, we're put in school, we're taught to raise our hand in class. Like we can't even go to the bathroom without asking for permission. So we're not taught to be men in society. Um, we're taught to be people who follow orders and people who follow orders, 
not necessarily the people or people who are permission seeking rather it's sometimes in, in the army I think that can be quite attractive but um, people who are permission seeking are not attractive to women that's not a dominant dominant positive masculine presence that she's looking for what she is looking for is a guy who goes after what he wants okay goes knows what he wants and goes after it now <laughs> so if you're a guy who's been going through life and you're always permission seeking and you find yourself asking yourself hey what should I do next does she like me if you're asking yourselves those questions instead ask yourself what you want put yourself first and go after that now I know what you're thinking some of you um, this doesn't mean that when you're talking to a girl that you want to have sex with you just assault her like <laughs> I don't think any guy who's watching this channel is going to do that, but just let's make it perfectly clear. Uh, but what it does look like are the things that I've said, leading the conversation, leading her to different areas, leading her on the dance floor, you know, introducing her to people. That kind of stuff is a man to woman interaction where you're basically leading and she's following. And if you are able to do this on a consistent basis, then you're going to get a lot more women that are going to want to sleep with you, that are going to want to date you, that are just going to want to be around you because you have a strong masculine presence. You know, a lot of this, this is actually pretty important not just when it comes to like getting girls but also too when you're raising children you know like if you have daughters or if you have boys they a strong masculine presence is very important just as a strong feminine presence is very important in their development as well too so I would recommend that you do this not just for your own love life but for the lives of your children as well too so thanks a lot you guys if you made it and consider subscribing I come out with videos like this every single week guys I actually have a new program that I'm coming out with right now and I'm looking for new guys to join we are going to learn a exactly how to have that man to woman presence. So if you're interested in that, shoot me an email, thesingleguy2017 at gmail.com. Put the words team in it, okay? Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.